Welcome to another episode from How to Webmaster. My name is Leon, and today I will be reviewing and setting up MailWiz. This is a web based app or script that you can set up on your server and you can use it to send or deliver emails, bulk amounts of emails to your subscribers. Just like if you were using Aweber or GetResponse. And here you can set up multiple delivery systems. Like if you want to use SMTP, Mailgun, Amazon SES, Sendinblue, or your own web server. And then you can rotate the servers when sending out your emails. And this MailWiz also comes with your own website, SAAS website, software as a service, where you can offer bulk email marketing uh, tools. And you can offer this to your visitors and users, and they can sign up. So it's just like Aweber, GetResponse. And here is the customer dashboard. So I was showing you the admin dashboard, and it also comes separately with a customer dashboard where they can set up their own email list and also campaigns where they can use it to send out emails to their own subscribers. And here is the actual MailWiz sales page right here from uh, Envato Market or Code Canyon. And let's check out the ratings. 4.84 out of five, almost perfect five stars, 12,000 sales. So this is a great piece of email marketing or bulk emailing app that you can set up. And I will leave a link down below for you guys to check out MailWiz sales page and also check out the live preview which you can check out the customer dashboard and also the demo admin dashboard as you see here. There's just a whole lot of features and they're constantly adding more and more features. So it's pretty much everything you will ever need in a email marketing tool. Alrighty, after buying MailWiz, you will log into your Envato Market or Code Canyon account. Up here in the profile uh, username, you go to Downloads right here and you will be arrived on this page. Look for MailWiz. I bought a lot of products here. That's why there's so many, but here it is, MailWiz. Click on the Download button right here. Go ahead and download all files and documentation. It's quite a big file, 360 megabytes. After it is finished downloading, it'll look like this right here, a zip file. Open it up and then drag out the content, MailWiz folder. When you're done extracting, let's click here to exit and open up the folder. You will find two folders here, the latest, which is the latest version of MailWiz and an update if you want to update your previous version. So we only need the latest version. Here it is right here. Now you can FTP this right here all the latest files to your server or I just like to zip everything up like this 7-zip and then compress or add to a latest zip right here and this will zip up all the files and then I can upload that in my cPanel account so you guys choose whatever way you want to do to upload the MailWiz files now let's go to your cPanel this is the standard for all or most web hosting companies nowadays. If you need web hosting, uh, check out my recommended hosting providers down below. Anyways, once you log into cPanel, click on File Manager. Now I'm currently inside of my File Manager under a new folder I created called Mailer. And you can create a new folder by simply clicking on a new folder button right here. And then just name it whatever you want. And then you can also like add it to the public HTML or other places you want. So right now I'm inside my new created folder called Mailer and I will be uploading the files here. So just click on upload. And in this file upload screen, you can either select the file or drag and drop the zip file that I just created right here and just drop it right there. And now it's uploading. It's gonna take a little bit, 175 MB. Once the zip file is completely uploaded, 100% right here. Click on go back and now here it is. Let's click on that and then go up to extract and then extract files. And this way it extracts all the files. Once it is done extracting, click on the zip file and delete it. You don't need that anymore. Save some space. Now for help on installing MailWiz, let's refer to the readme documentation right here. Click on that and then click on the view button right there. Install steps. 
Let's highlight that and then load up this page. There are other documentations as well as getting started and upgrading steps from a previous version of MailWiz to a newer version. Now let's go here to the install steps. So basically we did everything they wanted right here. Unzip MailWiz, upload it to a folder. And then now we need to go to our website followed by the install folder. Okay, just like this right here. My website, howtowebmaster.com. My folder is Mailer. And then my subfolder is install. Once you're here, you need to enter in your Envato Marketplace or Code Canyon purchase code. And you can find that from here in your Code Canyon account under downloads license certificate and purchase code that's where you will find your purchase code which is your uh, license key as well so enter that here and then click on next in the next step here it will check for your server configuration is making sure it satisfies all the requirements by MailWiz and the results are here pass everything is passed and if something is not passed for example zip archive or curl you can ask your web hosting provider to enable this or these things for you. But generally, most web hosting companies by default already enable these uh, PHP extensions. All right, now let's click on next. And now it will check for your directory permissions. And everything here is passed as well. So let's click on next. Okay, now in this step, you need to add in your database information by default the host name is 99 percent of the time local host you don't need to mess with that and the port you can leave that blank now the username password and database name let's go ahead and make those right now in your cpanel go to the database section right here click on my sql databases let's create a database name right here i'll just call it mailer create database okay it is added now let's go back now under mysql users give it a username and then password and then copy the password again right here and then create user okay just like that click on create and you get a success message right here let's go back now scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says add user to database and then make sure you select the right user that was just created so for me it's mailer admin and then the database is mailer add and now you need to select here all privileges for this user on this database and then make sure you click on make changes and you get a success message right here now let's copy the user make sure you copy everything including the first part right here which is your cpanel username and then paste in your username right there enter in your password and database name so let's go back copy this right here for the database enter it right here now the password for the password make sure you don't include the cpanel username just straight up whatever password you enter and the table prefix you don't need to mess with that and after you enter the password click on start importing okay on the next step after the database is now your admin credentials uh, entering an admin email uh, your first name last name and a password for your admin dashboard and also select your time zone and then create the first customer with the same data sure leave it on default as yes and then click on create account now in this step you need to set up cron jobs and we can do that from here in your cpanel you can search for cron it's right here it's under the advanced section right here click on cron jobs let's scroll down a little bit here under command settings this is where you need to copy the cron commands so what I would do is copy this right here just the from the slash to the end over here let's copy that so let's copy this real quick and paste it here and this is pretty much once per minute you can see here the star uh, for minute hour day all the way down to weekday month at new cron job and there it is showing up down here so you would need to do that for each one of these right here so copy this and this one's a little bit different there is a star symbol slash number two so let me do that real quick so let's paste everything there and then copy this or you can type it in it's the same thing and then i will select once per minute and then just delete that paste in the star slash number two just to make it simple and then add new 
and now it is exactly the same uh, as you see here so do that for every other one okay I'm down here run per hour so let's copy this let's go here paste it in once per hour right here once per hour a zero for minutes add new and now one more to go once per day so this would be zero minutes and zero on the hour so let's paste that in and select once per day right there zero zero and add new okay I'm done here and then you can verify make sure it is the same as that and then click on cron jobs or install and continue and th this right here is the, if you have shell access you can quickly create the crons this way but if you don't you have to do it manually like I showed you in cPanel cron jobs okay let's click continue all right everything is done successfully installed mailwiz now you need to delete the install folder let's go back to file manager here's the install folder let's select it delete skip the trash confirm there it is now let's log into the back end real quick just to make sure everything is working all right here it is loading up just fine here's my username and then my password that I created during the installing uh, setup now click on login and everything should be great here all right you should get some uh, pop-ups with some welcome screens you can just exit that and here you will get some alerts about uh, the, the bounce handler and all that it's because you just set up and uh, started running the cron jobs or it's not ran yet so that's why you're getting these errors perhaps and it's checking all these extensions and then you get a success down here so this is what it looks like uh, just like in the demo and now let's go to the main website just to make sure it's loading up there it is uh, perfectly beautifully just like in the demo everything's here working as it should and now this uh, tutorial setup is complete for now it's getting too long uh, in the next part I will set up some uh, general settings for the admin set up a, a mailing server uh, send a test email just to uh, see if it works but uh, that's it for this video mailwiz highly recommend it I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out and also see the demo thanks so much for viewing I hope this helps and be sure to stay tuned for part two and also Please subscribe to my channel, How to Webmaster, for more marketing tips and tricks. Thanks so much.